Hi! Recently, I had the pleasure of talking with two companies about their needs related to the, to the drawing link. Those meetings were very fruitful, with a lot of new use cases, new real needs emerged. Some of them fall into the category of low-hanging fruits, so check out how the implementation went. I have released a new version of the Grasshopper Tecla drawing link. Uh, with this release, you will be able to manipulate the UDAs of the drawing, so you get those three new components, but also, what is more interesting, you will also get some superpowers about the plugins on the drawing. Let's see how is it working. Probably you are already familiar with the official link UDA manipulation components. Those provided by Sebastian, those are the construct UDA, but also for getting all of the UDAs or just the single one. This is for the single one, okay. They are, of course, working for the model objects. Here, for the drawings, we are traversing a little different namespace, so we need a different set of components, and here are they. We have the set UDA, we have the get all of the UDAs and also get the single UDA when you exactly know the name of, of it. So let's try with some uh, investigation. Let's use the get all drawing UDAs. So I will start with getting of the selection from the drawing list. I will get this uh, drawing for the wall. Let's see, uh, let's just pop up this uh, component. Okay, we have the drawing and what UDAs does this drawing have? Okay, so now it has the status and it's set to the test. Let's check it out. And yeah, it is here, so let's uh, change it for some ABC and recompute. Okay, we are reading this data from this drawing. So now we can try to set the UDA for a little different uh, value. And exactly like in the uh, official link, you can use uh, this magical construct UDA, which makes all of the string concatenation for, uh, for you, but also you can use those uh, multi-line panels. Okay, let's see uh, how it can work in the easy mode. So we have to specify the name of the UDA, and the easiest way is to just set it from the, from the UI and use this get all of the UDAs. So now we know that the status is the error status with the number two. Okay, we can also set the type, but for the strings, the auto uh, mode should work. And the new value, okay? So the new value will be just ready. It will be the new UDA value. Let's pop it as a value and then let's change it. Okay, that's it. So now its status is set to ready, okay? Of course, if I would uh, disable this component, recompute, then we would get an updated value here. So. It is working, of course, but uh, maybe maybe let's try something a little harder. So, for example, some date. What do we have here? Uh, we have, oh, here, date checked, some date. Okay, so let's set it manually just to get the name of this UDA. So let's set it to the 25th. Okay, recompute, and here we know that this is DR check the date. So let's construct a different UDA, and let's name it as an dr checked date okay this is it this is it and now the question for the value and here is the hint the tooltip provided by sebastian that if you would like to set the date then we should check it to the date itself and also specify in in the format that 2023 the month now is may and 28 something like that let's check yes exactly so now we will get the UDA to be set. So let's uh, change will this name will be working. And yes, now the 28 is set. Let's change it to the 20th. Recompute. And here after the getting, we are updating the UDA. So of course you can say that, yeah, you know, we can do it by this UI. Of course you can, you can do it by the Tecla itself. But if you would like to combine some logic about the content of those uh, drawings of the assemblies from which they are created, then it would be quite hard to automate the, this workflow without the Grasshopper drawing link. So that's all for the UDAs. I hope that uh, you will work with it. Let's go to the next feature. 
The next new thing are the plugins, the drawing plugins, which are quite complicated in the Tecla Open API. This is totally different word than the model plugins, so the components provided by the Sebastian will not work. We have to somehow figure out a little different workflow. I try to do my best, but let's see <laughs> how I succeeded. So maybe it is not very obvious, but those 2D library are under the hood the drawing plugins. So let's insert one of them and in the standard uh, Swedish environment this is some 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 scale uh, ruler. So let's get this object. So at first uh, let's pick it up to check what can we get from, from, from itself. Let's use the expand object from the Sebastian and see that yeah we have the name of the plugin and maybe that, that's all what is uh, important. We have the Drawing symbol plugin. Drawing symbol plugin. Let's save it to the different panel because we will need it uh, just at a few seconds. So if we would like to create a new plugin, we have to specify the name of it. Now we, we can get it by the expand object. But also we have to say where exactly it should be placed and into which container, into which view or drawing as itself it has to be placed. So let's assume that we would like to insert it into the drawing, like, like, like I have created it now. So I will get the drawing and just get the current open drawing. Okay, so now I have the view. Great. And the next attributes are the picker input. And the picker input is the exactly the same arguments which you as a user is doing when you try to insert the plugin. So when you want to insert some drawing to the library, you are just picking a point somewhere into the in the drawing area. So let's use uh, this way of inserting. So let's, after right-clicking, choose the view and one point. And the view, it has always to be the same as the view provided by the plugin. So I will use the same argument uh, twice. And then uh, select from the drawing area some point, maybe somewhere there. OK, it will be, the, it will be here. And, of course, there are some plugins which need more than just one input. And this is why you have to combine them into uh, with this component. So if you combine only one or, or more, then you will get the, the, the effect of, of this combination. And after doing this, you are ready to connect the speaker input with this plugin. And I will do it by a, few, by a second, but it will not work. So we will go, uh, why? I'm inserting, and here the new uh, wrongly wrong, wrongly attached associative uh, mark appeared. So it is not working, and the question is why? It is not working because <clears throat> we have not provided uh, data about what exactly detail do we want to insert. We just specify that, yeah, please insert the drawing symbol plugin in this point, and that's all. So we have to specify the plugin attributes, but what are they? If you double click the, the plugin, it, there will be no any UI for saving loading. So we have to somehow get it in a little different way. And here we can reuse the get all of the UDAs. So if we reuse this component, it will uh, get all of those properties. So now we know that this, uh, this uh, drawing library, it has three uh, properties, the detail name, the working directory, so the path that you have migrated to get exactly this, uh, this detail, and the scale. So we know the three attributes which has to be used. Okay, so let's grab this output and copy data only, okay. Let's insert new panel and uh, paste it here, okay. So maybe a line left. Let's remove the empty line. Okay, so here are the attributes. And now if we connect it to the plugin attributes, then we will provide necessary data for inserting this to the library. Of course, uh, we can change what the other scales are available. Uh, 1 to 20, okay, so let's change it, 1 to 20 and we have the different detail. And, of course, you can also change this directory into a different path. It depends how you have organized your 2D libraries. But 
With this workflow, you are able to insert those 2D libraries to the drawing itself or to the views. Next, I would like to go to with a different type of the plugins, mainly related to the rebars on the drawing, but let's go to the YouTube. There is the more lengthy video. So, see you, thank you, and 